Hello guys, Cam here from the fish room again, and today is update number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what it is of the black water project. Let's move on forward. For those of you that have been following us on the likes of Instagram and Facebook, you will know exactly how much torture this piece of wood here has been giving me. Still not sunk, I'm losing my bloody mind over it. I mean seriously, look, it's floating. It's been in the water for months. I boiled it for nearly six hours, it is still just floating. Keep it covered and it floats. This is the last piece to the Blackwater project before I can actually get any further on it, and this is driving me insane. Right, so the last video I did, I said I was going to go with an Asian theme in the Blackwater Aquarium. So I have gone and ordered some Cooley Loaches and some SBI Raspora. So they've come in as Gold Raspora. Uh, name written on the wholesale list is SBI. So I've got a 10 or 12 of them and 10 or 12 Cooley Loach as well. So there's a couple of them each. The rest are tucked in out the back there. So I've just got them all sitting in the uh, quarantine tank together. Oops, Gordon away. Um, I'll give them a sort of three week or so quarantine in here. Make sure they're all feeding, get nice and plump and then Eventually, when that stupid piece of wood has decided to sink, um, they will go inside. Excuse the water, I've just done a bit of a stir up and a water change, so it's a bit messy and stuff. Can't even really see them. But I do have them, so that is going into the black water. Next thing to get, or last thing to get, would be some chocolate garamis, which I'm on the hunt for. My four of them is feature fish. And beside them, I also bought myself a few Cardinal Tetras. So these are for a different project coming up. Um, so I'm just sitting them by themselves for a few weeks as well. Everything's in the back corner, the lighting's really bad. But there's Cardinals in here, the Raspora and the Coolies in here. Um, as I get closer to putting them in to the tank inside, once that's running properly, I'll begin uh, slowly lowering the pH, adding a few more leaves and a little bit more wood and stuff like that in here so they're beginning to get used to what their permanent uh, water is going to be like but for the time being they're just sitting in what the wholesalers are sent them in or sent them as so that is the livestock that's going in so i know in the first video i spoke about how i was thinking about doing this black water tank without um any filtration and then i thought no i'm gonna do a hamburg and i thought no i'm gonna hang on back well, I've decided I'm still going to try the non-filtration method. Um, I've got my MP10 uh, Vortec pump here that I'm just trialing on here. I thought I'd give that a go. The reason I'm using this is I can control it. So I can turn it up. So we're ramping up now. You can, might be able to see everything going a bit crazier. So it's not even full, full go. Or ramping up. Still not full tip. We're looking about maybe 75% now. And we're still going about 80. And now we'll ramp it down. So I've turned it down to now basically on one with lower setting. So as you can see, I can um, control it quite well. So I thought if I have it set very low, it'll give me the water current that I want, as we can see just. I'm playing in here so it's a bit murky again. Why do I always take videos after I bloody play with my fish? Anyway, we're still getting a little bit of flow, a little bit of movement in the plants. So that's what I want. There's a little bit of water movement up top. You can't see it. So I'm going to give that a go first. And if it doesn't work, then I will go with the hang on back filter, which I've already got sitting here ready to go. 
got the Fluvalee series heater to go into it as well. It's absolutely overkill. It's 200 watt. We're looking at 65 watt uh, litre aquarium. The reason I'm using it is because it's black and I'm hoping that it'll blend into the background and the tank itself without sort of being able to see it there. Whereas like the Eheims and all the other heaters are glass or, or steel or what have you and it's a lot more obvious when they're in the tank. So I'm hoping that the black heater will just blend in a lot better than, than any other one. So we'll give that a go and if not then I'll just go to a slightly smaller one if I have to. As for the plants, they're all growing really well in here. Um, they're all growing quite a significant amount, which is awesome. Uh, they're all looking really healthy. They're all putting on a bit of colour as well, which is quite cool. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really not doing anything but putting in 5 mils of Excel and 5 mils of Flourish once a week or once every two weeks after my water change, and that is literally it. Um, so they've gone well in here, they transitioned really well, no crip melt which was nice. Um, so I'm really happy with how they are, they're growing and they're going to look really really good when they're ready to transfer, they'll be nice and big and I won't have to wait for them to grow too much, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the plants coming along nicely. So I'm literally waiting for this one piece of wood to sink and then I can actually continue on with the project, that is the only thing that I'm waiting for. The only reason I'm waiting for it is because I've already set up the scape, designed it, played around with it a few times outside and I know exactly what it is that I want to do and I need this piece of wood to go into it otherwise I will just go ahead with it but I can't. Um, yeah, I've, I've played with the scape, I've set it up, I've designed it, I've taken photos of it so I can re-mimic it because I really like it so that's what we're waiting for. Thank you very much for joining us for the update number four I think or five of my Blackwater project. Um, if you have enjoyed the video please uh, subscribe to us, like, share, if you've got any comments or questions bang them in down below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Other than that, have a good one, happy fish, Kevin, and catch you later.